I've got these 16 paintings ready to go. If you take a look, I've got new frames. They all have a little light in them. They're all similar to shadow boxes. It, it take a look at each individual one. This one shows a light beam going out to a pyramid in outer space. This one here shows a production line. If you notice, when you go further down the line, the tops are off of these and individual wedges will be being added onto there. This one's called the Big Dipper. Now, you also see that I have a larger painting like that, but I always make the smaller ones first. This one here is the Earth in the Moon with solar lightning going all in between them. Take a look around here on the next one here. I have three solar systems with light rays connecting the pyramids. Of course, the new name for this entire project is Solar Lightning. Here is the tunnel car, and you take a look here. We have wheels here going to the sides, wheels going up. This is, this is a phenomenal invention. This is a space crane. Nothing, no more friction. We get a huge theoretical building in outer space and drop a bungee car cord down. And we just start yanking the units out and bringing them, take a look as they go around here, to the underbelly and installing them. If that is ever done, we'll get away from this planet. It will just keep on going. This is colonizing the moon here. And, and this would be a, a mushroom field because it's about the only thing that will grow without oxygen. Take a look at here. You see... Earth, Venus, Mercury, and Mars. It's the solar lightning is connecting all of these. This painting here shows the Sears Tower, the first building, 33 story building, and a 169 story pyramid building. If you notice here, it's floating. It's not actually floating, but it's out in Lake Michigan. And I'll show you that in a second. This is the first time when I was younger, I took a mirror, and from the moon, I reflected onto my neighbor's barn, just a, a, a solar lightning beam. This right here shows four pyramids on any given planet, and four pyramids floating. If you look at the configuration, light is being reflected to the belly of the pyramid, and then a light trap where it's going all the way around. Take a look here. Here's New Chicago. But this is showing red and blue canals. The blue canals are bringing fresh water from Lake Michigan out to Aurora, Elgin. Take a look here. This is the exact same one, but in a different perspective. Lake Michigan being here. And here's Aurora and Elgin. And, and take a look here. This is the New Chicago. The buildings are actually in the water in Lake Michigan. And then this again is Aurora and Elgin and the West Coast here in America and with flying pyramids again. And this right here is Herds Island in Aurora, Illinois, where there's a 33-story building. And it's also up against the Fox River. And it also shows the pyramids cars. And the last thing I want to do is turn off all the lights so you can take a look at this beautiful project. Just to see how I see it. Okay, thank you very much.